Glutathione, glutathione. You hear about this all the time. It's like a rock star, right? We talked about it last week and we said, look, come on guys. The cell thinks this thing is so dang important that it keeps a concentration of it similar to sugar in every single cell. That's how high it is. And it tries to make sure it's in what's called a reduced form. It tries to make sure it is in the antioxidant form. And when it is, when this little combination of three amino acids is sitting in each and every cell, and it is having an extra little electron sitting on it, or two electrons, then holy smokes, your cell works great. It's bizarre. It's like you have this little thing, glycine, cysteine, glutamic acid stuck together, it's glutathione. And it has a little, what's called electron, hanging out. And it's ready to donate that electron to other parts of the cell. Everything works awesome. You deplete that glutathione, you deplete that electron, everything doesn't work awesome. It's so dang important that you hit a threshold of plus 30% of that glutathione missing, not reduced, your cell shuts off, your cell kills itself. So this is an incredibly, 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 incredibly important substance. Now this is a weird thing, this is a weird thing. Your body can interact with nature and it can upregulate every single one of the enzymes necessary to make more reduced glutathione everything necessary to put glutathione together in the first place. And it seems to be activated by something called NERF2 or nuclear factor erythroid 2 related factor 2. See that 10 times fast. So you have this NERF2 and this NERF2 will completely and totally change your gene expression and you'll make more reduced glutathione. Long story short. Why is this important? We talked about this briefly. Your neighbor always wants to borrow stuff. Your neighbor is always pulling things away. Your neighbor is saying, can you give me 10 bucks? Can I borrow the lawnmower? Can, you know, whatever. I need a cup of sugar all the time. And it's like, well, shoot, I needed that sugar to make the recipes. I was, you know what? My lawn's about to be totally overgrown. I'm going to get more rain. I, I need a lawnmower. Like if you give something, most oftentimes you yourself become unstable. You don't have what you need to function. It's the same with the human body. You get exposed to air pollution, steals these electrons. You get exposed to mercury, steals these electrons. Something has to donate those electrons back and something has to bind to that mercury, has to bind to that air pollution and get it the heck out. You want to stop the damage and you want to excrete the thing causing the damage. Stop the damage, excrete the thing causing the damage. Glutathione is a rock star at this. Stops the damage, excretes the things that are causing the damage, okay? How it does this is its shape. In life, form equals function. This is information. The form of something allows it to mate with something else. This is just this beautiful structure that once it donates its electron, once it becomes an antioxidant, it says, ah, you, I see you're missing something here. I see you interacted with that mercury. I see you interacted with that air pollution. And I see that it destabilized you. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Here you go. Here's the thing that'll make you feel so much better. Let me give you a hug. And then boom, it donates this electron. And then it separates. And instead of being like all pouty and be like, oh, I lost part of myself. What am I going to do? And like the victim role? No. Nah. It's like, hey, let me find another buddy that just has donated an electron and needs to have its little space occupied so it doesn't go steal electrons from somebody else. And I'm gonna give them a big hug. I'm like, oh man, you've given a lot of yourself today. Yeah, so have you. Oh, buddy, right? So here it is exactly what it does. It's this radical shape that allows it to flip up on end and attach to another, what's called oxidized glutathione. A glutathione that's already donated its electron. So now we got these Two things that should be reactive. They're supposed to be going around stealing electrons from other things and becoming free radicals. Instead, they're not. They're completely and totally stable. They're hanging out together. It's all good. And they're just waiting to be recharged so they can get back in the field and donate again. That's a, a miraculous compound. It's a beautiful design. 